Hey guys, Kevin here. What I've got here is a boot drive for my Mac. This can really save your ass if you've got any problems logging into your computer. Now, in one of my last videos, I showed you how you can create a boot drive for your Mac using a Windows computer, but it's much easier doing it through the Mac itself. There's many tutorials online that show you how you can do it whilst logged into your Mac. You know, you have to go through disk utility, do a few commands, etc. But it's actually easier doing it through recovery mode. So what I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you how you can create a boot drive for your Mac using recovery mode and I'll show you how you can do it using a healthy recovery partition or if, if you've got any problems with your recovery partition I'll show you how you can do it using internet recovery mode. It's the same process, all you have to do is log in using a different menu. Power up your Mac and then press command and R whilst the startup chain is playing. If for any reason you've got problems with this you might have a problem with your recovery partition so what you need to do is restart your computer and press Command, Option and R during the startup chime. This will take you into internet recovery mode. So we're now in the OS X utilities area, otherwise known as the recovery area. What I'm going to do is take my USB 3 flash drive and put it into the back of the iMac. Once you've inserted the flash drive, go to Disk Utility. and you will see it loaded up. This is mine here. I've got mine's titled as untitled. Now, you can see here that I've already got OS X on it, but what you should really do before you create a boot drive is really erase it. So what you do is you go up to erase, and then you can name it. So you could go like OS X boot drive. Now there's options here if you want to Make sure you delete all the files, you can make it more secure, it takes a little bit longer. All you do is you do that and then you click Erase. Now, once you've formatted it, click X and go back up to the OS X Utilities area. Before you do anything, what we need to do is connect to Wi-Fi. So if you go up to the top right hand corner, there's a little Wi-Fi button here. Click on your internet connection, your Wi-Fi. and once you've chosen your network, simply put in the password. All we need to do now is go into the area entitled Reinstall OS X. Click continue. And then you're in the installation area. Click agree. Now at this point you need to choose the correct drive. Now you can see here I've got some recovery partitions already and I've got my main hard drive but I've already reinstalled it there. What I want to pick is this one, flash drive. And when you click that it starts the whole installation process again. All you do now is restart your computer and then this time press the option key whilst the computer is restarting. This will take you to the boot menu. From here, simply select your USB flash drive and boot into your Mac. I hope you found this tutorial useful, guys. If you get any questions, please do leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, thanks for watching.